we generated a 7.6 ROAS, $50,000 in revenue with just $1,500 in ad spend in two weeks using the custom intent based on search terms on Google with YouTube ads. Stick around, and we're gonna share with you how we actually went about that, and we'll share with you what a custom intent audience is and how to set it up on your own campaigns. Hey, I'm Andres here from Licks Digital, and in today's video, I'm gonna break down the steps that we use to create custom intent audiences that are strong uh, based on search terms that actually generate revenue. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Let's get it. All right, so custom intent audiences, what, are, what is it, right? So it's a Google targeting setting, of course, uh, that allows us to target people that are currently searching for specific topics, products, um, you know, or solutions on the web. Uh, you can actually set it up by the URLs that they're searching, the apps, uh, and of course, you know, based on the search terms, okay? So today we're gonna show you how to actually uh, create these audiences inside uh, the Google Ads. All right, so we're gonna dive right in and create a custom intent audience. Now, before we actually go into the audience manager, and do this, we want to actually go to the Keyword Planner. Okay, so you go to Tools, Planning, and then Keyword Planner. And here, this is where you're going to be able to come up with some uh, keywords based on, let's say, a, a competitor's website URL or on a keyword. So let's just use an example here. Um, I'd like to do keyword, um, maybe e-commerce. So again, depending on what your niche is, uh, you want to select a, a keyword that is relevant to your offer, right? To whatever you're offering, your service. Um, and then uh, here we go, like e-commerce business, right? E-commerce platforms, maybe if you have like a platform. Um, typically, we like to filter these out by average monthly searches. We like to go with a thousand. And then we just kind of go through here and select there's 20. You want to have at least between 20 and 50 keywords. Anything above that is fine also, but we have them copied now. Um, I'll typically add them to like a notepad, right? But since I'm just going to go there directly, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to leave it here. Okay. So again, you're in audiences, you go to tools, audience manager, and that takes us here. I want to go to custom audiences. And this is creating a new custom audience, all right? And now the custom intent audience is based on people who search for any of these terms on Google, okay? So we're gonna put CI for custom intent, e-commerce, boom. All right, so that we have our, our keywords, uh, you know, here we get some kind of like the impre weekly impressions that we may get, some, some projections. And, you know, you can obviously um, polish up your, your keywords here, maybe filter out things that, you know, that you don't want to include, right? Um, but ideally, you want to create a, a nice strong list, okay? Um, so that way, you can just maximize um, how targeted it is, and this is to get the ball rolling really on your, on your campaigns, right? So, you know, you obviously hit save, and then you have your custom intent and audience, okay? So I'm just going to show you for, for this particular video, um, you know, the campaign that has worked well. Let's go into uh, the Hyros account for this particular client. And uh, as you can see here, the first one, uh, let's look at the time frame. Look from uh, the 18th, January 18th through the 31st. Right, and this is a custom intent audience of selling online. So let's actually look at that audience in a second here. But as you can see, uh, you know, in two weeks, um, we actually spent fifteen hundred dollars. Right, so in a month, you know, I think we were spending like sixty-eight hundred. But as you can see, it's fifteen hundred dollars um, for this particular audience and campaign. And the revenue was $50,000. So it was a $48,000 profit on that particular campaign. 
This had uh, 16 calls, right? At $94 for book calls. So, you know, right below the benchmark of where we wanna be for like a high ticket offer, which is around 100 to $150 book call. So it's, you know, very optimal um, uh, results here for this particular offer, okay? So let, let, let me show you inside the campaign. So um, the, the, the campaign and then we'll go into the audience. All right, so uh, here we are on the, uh, we're actually on the ad group level here, this campaign, this is the exact same campaign. Uh, you see the date here. Um, that's the selling online audience. Now we wanna check the audience here. So I show you guys. how it was set up. Right, so as you can see, you don't really need the 20 to 50, so that's kind of like a myth buster right here for some of you uh, that may be thinking like, oh, you need to add a whole bunch of keywords or, uh, you know, over 50. Uh, it's ideal, but it's really not, um, you know, a, a necessity, right? So as you can see, you know, this is, best online business ideas, gain extra income working from home. So these are very phrase match type of keywords that we pulled here. And, uh, and this was one of the top performers in terms of the custom intent, you know, based on the terms searched on Google. Okay. So, uh, and there you have it. This is the account. This is the, the campaign, sorry, that generated the results that you, you guys are seeing here. Okay. $1,500 in ad spend generated $50,000 in revenue. And again, granted, you know, with this offer, uh, it is a, um, a book of call funnel. Um, you know, I know you guys have heard us in, in previous videos talk about that, but it's, it's a high ticket offer. In reality, it, was, it only took two sales. Um, you know, each offer was $25,000 each. And, um, but as you can see with custom intent, it is doable. And, um, you know, it's really not that difficult to set up um, but again, you want to be able to come up with different ideas. So uh, this was a keyword idea that we did. You could also add like websites, right? So you can get, um, keywords that based on people that have visited certain sites. So, you know, let's say shopify.com, right? If we go back here, let's say if your offer has to do with e-commerce, right? Uh, depending on what, you know, what your offer is, you can certainly grab some more keywords based on this. And it's literally just copying and pasting into your audience manager, right? Um, so that's pretty much uh, what we did. Um, like I said, there was really no, um, there's no science to this. It's really just a matter of testing different things, um, you know, ensuring that you're able to get the campaigns firing that's very important sometimes with these custom intent certain keywords they may not fire right if you only have like one or two so you may want to add multiple ones you know like i said i'm not here to tell you hey you need to add 20 or 50 could very well be that only five or seven of the keywords are working for you so that's custom intent this is essentially uh you know again based on what people are searching for so you can see you could do you can do it by um by URL, you can do it by keyword. Uh, there's also, you can do it by apps. You know, we hope you apply the same uh, concepts here and, and get some decent results for your own campaigns. Let me know if you have any questions, leave your, your comments uh, below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and turn on all your notifications. Get notified when we can drop some more YouTube ad knowledge. And remember that, you know, this is an open invitation for you to join our YouTube ad buyers group on Facebook. There's a link in somewhere here in the, below the video. Um, and we also have a YouTube ads course that is, you know, an epic course that takes you basically from A to Z and teaches you everything that you need to know to have success with YouTube ads. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.